Police in Singapore have arrested 27 South Asian suspects after hundreds of people took part in a riot sparked by the death of an Indian national. Trouble started after the 33-year-old man was knocked down by a private bus in a district known as Little India. About 400 foreign workers took to the streets hurling railings at police and torching police cars and an ambulance. At least 18 people were hurt, most of them police officers, before the violence was brought under control. Police Commissioner Anji Juhi said it was the first rioting in Singapore in more than 30 years. He condemned it as intolerable, wanton violence. It is not the Singapore way, he added. The outbreak of public disorder is rare and strictly governs Singapore. The wealthy city-state depends heavily on foreign workers with migrant laborers from South Asia dominating sectors like construction. Many congregate in Little India on Sundays to shop, drink and socialize. Pictures and videos posted in social media showed two police cars being overturned by the mob. Several private vehicles were also damaged. A statement from Singapore's Civil Defense Force, SCDF, said that emergency services were alerted to a road accident at 2125. 1325 GMT. Upon arrival, there was a man trapped under a bus. An SCDF paramedic pronounced him dead on arrival. SCDF rescuers extricated the body using hydraulic rescue equipment. Projectiles were thrown at the SCDF rescuers while they were extricating the body. Nine SCDF vehicles were damaged in the incident, including five which were burned. It said, rioting in Singapore is punishable by up to seven years in prison plus caning. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong said that whatever events may have sparked the rioting, there is no excuse for such violent, destructive, and criminal behavior. We will spare no effort to identify the culprits and deal with them with the full force of the law, he said in a statement. The Indian High Commission said in a statement that it was in constant touch with the Singapore authorities to ascertain the facts of the incidents and would provide all assistance to affected Indian nationals. We hope all parties will maintain calm, it added. Singapore relies on foreign workers to fill labor vacancies in low-paid sectors like construction. Most are young men who come from India and Bangladesh, and live in dormitories while they work and send money home. Little India a popular area of South Asian restaurants and shops, is where many of these laborers congregate when they have a day off. Last year, a strike by mainland Chinese bus drivers shone a spotlight on the low wages paid to some migrant workers and the conditions in which some live. Four of the drivers, who complained they were paid less than their Singaporean counterparts, and at the state of their employer provided accommodation, were jailed.